I wanted to say a few words about what I do to improve my high register. This was a question I get a lot from students and one that I wondered also as a student, how do I get those high notes to work? There are four absolutes or four things you absolutely have to have in order for your high register to be working well. And the first is you have to have a good embouchure. Your embouchure is how you set your mouth on the mouthpiece. It has to be not only healthy, but the right form. So remember, I've done another video about the puckered smile. That's where you pucker from a smile. So you smile, no teeth showing, and bring your lips in for a pucker. That creates a flat chin naturally, firm corners, and a kind of softer middle for your mouthpiece. Along with that puckered smile, so you want to have the right kind of embouchure, you have to have a strong embouchure, an embouchure that's in shape. So one that has been strengthened carefully and consistently over hours of practice. The second thing that you have to have is really good air. You have to know how to use your air and Use it well, because playing high takes a stronger airstream, it's faster air, and it will just give you the gas that you need in order to get up there. The third thing that's a good idea to have is good equipment. So have a middle of the road mouthpiece. I play a Shilke 29. It is a shallow mouthpiece. It's not the shallowest, but it's shallower. And if you can afford a good horn that's lightweight, that will also help you. The fourth thing you need to have a good high register, in my opinion, is bravery. Playing high notes is not the easiest thing to do. So you have to get over the fear of them, if you have that fear like I did, and go for them. So why do we need to talk about our high register? Well, high register notes are easier to miss. They're closer together when we get higher. They're closer together with our lips have to be even smaller, a smaller opening inside our mouthpiece to get them. And if we do miss them, it's really embarrassing. So we as horn players try not to miss them. I really try not to miss them. So I prepare a lot with my high register to avoid that embarrassment. Now, where do I practice my high register? Well, mostly at home in private or in a practice room at school when I was a student. But also, I try to practice my high notes in public because that helps me with my fear of playing them. If I make myself play them in front of people who I know are listening, it tends to help me get more confident that I can play them. 
So when do I practice my high register? Well, first I warm up with a fairly easy warm up, um, about 10, 15 minutes, usually flexibility exercises. Some people call them slurs. I actually just use a harmonic series and I take a lot of rest. I warm up. Then after I warm up and take a rest of about 10 minutes, I start working on all the registers of the horn, not only high but low. I practice my high register throughout the day though. I practice it after I warm up. I practice it before I am about to play a piece. I usually scan a piece and see what is the highest note in this piece before I even play it and I practice that high note to make sure it's strong. So I practice high notes pretty much all the time. I can't avoid them. The best way I can suggest that you practice your high notes is to approach them gradually. I like to use major scales. I usually use a three octave or two octave scale, but for purposes of this video and to shorten it, I'll show you how I use a one octave scale. There are three things I pay attention to when I'm practicing the scale to ascend, ascend higher. I start in the bottom of the scale and go higher, and I listen to the quality of my tone, making sure that it's full, that there's no kind of distortion in my sound or too bright. I want it to be a warm sound usually. And then I watch my intonation on a tuner and I listen to my intonation, make sure it doesn't waver at all. And lastly, I think about how does the note feel on my face and where is the placement of my tongue as I'm blowing. This A2 that I just performed went to a high A flat. So I was practicing up to high A flats for the last few days, but I also went a few steps above the high A flat so that the A flat didn't feel that high. When you practice your scale and you are new to improving your high register, don't go to a note that's too high. If, let's say you're practicing the A flat scale and your sound is good only up to E flat, not A flat, stop on that note and work on that note, that E flat. Don't go to the F or the G until your E flat is not only good sound, has the good intonation, but also you feel strong on it. If you don't feel strong on it yet, take a break, come back to it later. That's the best way to build up your high register. Don't force it into your face. Let your face gradually learn and your air and your tongue gradually learn how to produce it. Practice these scales slow and fast. Most of the time I try to practice them on the slower side so I can really think, but sometimes I practice them fast just because, I don't know, it's a little variation. So here I try to practice them mostly tongued because that's also more difficult than practicing it slurred. It makes me find sort of the belly of the note, the core of the note with my tongue. The tongue is really important for your high register because it helps make the mouth a little bit smaller. You want your tongue high in your mouth and forward. And lastly, I'll just kind of have fun with a high note to make myself realize that, you know, playing the horn is fun. So I'll play a trill on the high note. And that's kind of fun, it loosens it up, feels good. I have one last thing you can try. If you are trying your high notes and they're just really not getting any better and you just don't know what to do, well, take a lesson with somebody good <laughs> and also try a different equipment. Don't be afraid to change your mouthpiece. I use a different mouthpiece for certain pieces. I particularly like the Yamaha 30C4. It's a nice shallow mouthpiece and it's helped me get through a lot of high stuff. I also am not afraid to use a descant horn. Descant horns were invented for us to play high notes. So I own a descant horn to help me with my high note accuracy as well. And lastly, sometimes I'll just pull out my F slides on the front of my horn and use it like a high, just a single B flat horn. That may 
makes the horn lighter and easier to play. Well, I hope this helps you with your high register. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.